Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, kids of all ages, welcome back to another episode of Foolcraft. That's right, folks, we are back on our Patreon server, doing all the cool fool modded things, uh, and uh, yes, we are on the Patreon server, and yes, it is working, and yes, we are having some reasonable success... Uh, with our uh, with our tick rate, it's at 20 frames. It's at, well, not 20 frames, but it's at 20 ticks per second, which is good. That's where it's supposed to be. Um, now, right now, I'm the only one online, and that's and there's I don't know if there's a reason for that or whatever, but uh, but most everybody is offline right now, and that's fine. But uh, we did find out what the problem was. We did find out what the issue was with. Um, uh, with our with the server, it had to do with refined storage, but it had to do with the wireless stuff on refined storage a couple of the guys had made the wireless transceivers and um and and it was it was causing a uh, tick lag on the server and that and it was bad we had it down to like five fp or five ticks per second which was not cool it was not good um so we've got a bunch of things around the base that are taken apart you know a lot of power cells the the weirding gadget and all that good stuff we'll get all that stuff put back in place but i'm not going to worry about that today because we're actually going to update the server after i uh, after I record this episode. So we will be on version 1.4 uh, of Foolcraft 3 uh, in in just mere hours, really. Um, but uh, today what we're going to do, today I want to get into a mod uh, that will help me a little bit with Thaumcraft. Remember we had the, remember I told you we had the issue with the, um, with the, the, the weird Thaumcrafty ugly guy that killed me and we had to have the guys come over from the server and a lot of them helped me in. Uh, and all that. Well, I want to make a room where we can do Thaumcraft stuff where it won't matter. I want to put my Thaumcraft, uh, my Thaumcraft Crucible, which is currently down there at the bottom of this hill. Um, I want to put it in a compact machine. So I've got the compact machine uh, mod up here and, and so we can see it. And I want to get, I want to kind of work through what we would need to do to build one of these compact machines. So you've got multi-block miniaturization. So you can do that with um, you do that with these miniaturization, miniaturization projector fields. So it looks like we're gonna have to make some of those. You need four, right? Um, and then you need an eye of ender. You need a redstone torch. You need a couple of diamonds, and you need a personal shrinking device. The personal shrinking device is oh bummer. Why did that happen? I wonder. Huh. That's no bueno. I don't like that at all. Server was closed. Ooh, I wonder if it's time. It is right on the button, right at the top of the hour. I wonder if it's time for my server to restart. That might be the case. Give me a second. I'll be right back. So that's what it was. The uh, the server restarted, and uh, and I so I came outside to gather a couple of things. I was going to do some stuff off camera, but I remembered that some people have left me gifts. So we have a small gift here from uh, Captain Varen. He is one of the newer members to the server, uh, and uh, so he just gave us a bunch of stuff from uh, from uh, Flux Networks, which is cool. He gave us some blueberry pancakes. Silver will be so 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 upset about that. Uh, he gave us a delighted meal. He gave us two delighted meals. He also gave us another pick, which is a Kappa pick, which is awesome. Uh, does that have durability? It has 31,513 durability. We might use that, I think. Uh, the rest of the stuff, we'll get into that at some point, uh, because I do want to use Flux Networks for uh, sending power around the base. We also have over here uh, a gift, uh, a rainbow gift, and that is, I believe this is from, I believe this is from Deether. I think deether has got a, got a farm for stuff like this. I don't know, maybe, uh, but you got, you got, we got a tiny planet from Batania. Some of the guys are not putting their names on this stuff, and I've asked them to do that, but that's fine. It'll be good. Uh, but we got a lot of different colors of wool and stuff like that in here, which is very cool. He also gave us some, uh, some V crystals for Terra, which is uh, which is nice. Uh, a splash potion of decay, wither, mm, nice. Uh, we will uh, we will use that accordingly when the time is right. But we will definitely put those away. Um, so back to this uh, this compact machine thing. I had to go out and get some um, had to go out and get some sugar cane because I need some paper. Uh, I need paper because I need to make a book, right? And then I need the book because I need to make this uh, this personal shrinking device. So I need a glass pane, which I think I have some glass panes over here. Pretty sure I have glass pane. 
Uh, if not, I'm sure I can make some. But I want to say that I had some at some point. Uh, but uh, it's not looking that way. So let's make some glass panes, and then we need to get a couple of diamonds. And we can make this personal shrinking device. No panes of glass anywhere here, right? Not that I can see. One, three, uh, four, five, six. There we go. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. And get 16 of those, and a couple of those. And back in here, not like that. Uh, I've already started working on getting the stuff together to make the tier 2 solar array, which will be cool. Uh, but anyway, we need to make one of these, which is one of... Oh, I got diamonds, and I need ender pearls. Yeah, that's it. Ender pearls. Cool. Uh, oh, we need a piece of iron, too. Iron. Cool. So now, personal shrinking device. Go! Yay! Uh, and then we need some of these. So that is an eye of ender, which will be a blaze powder. One of those right there. I need to get a blaze farm set up. Uh, I don't know that anybody has a blaze farm on the server. Um, so that's that's interesting. Uh, we need a couple of diamonds, which I have. We need another ender pearl, which I have right there. So let's go ahead and put you and you together. Give us an eye of ender. We should be able to make these. Yes, we can. Now these, as far as I know, all we have to do is set these up in such a way that they are not right next to each other. Um, I want to say, okay, so it says hold shift. Uh, place four opposite each other to create a miniaturization crafting field. Right click to get hints where the next projector needs to be. Okay, so do we have some blocks? I have not very many blocks. We need to make a space for this. So let's go down here, right? Where's our me six? Where's our me six bot? Our me six guy, me creep. The me creeps out. And I'm gonna set him up on this level right here. And I want him to do, so a me creep will do what? A me creep will do nine by nine. I want him to flatten an area. We could do a 13 by 13, I guess, because I don't know exactly how big it needs to be. Um, so let's go ahead and one, two, three, four, three, five, six, so there, seven, so here. And then I want it to be, so this is one, two, three, four, five, there. So if I put you down right there and tell you to clear a 13 by 13 area, should do that. Should do that. And then I should also be able to uh, 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7. Yes, sir. That'll get the area done cleared faster uh, because it's important that we get this done quickly. Ooh, hey, that doesn't look good. Yes. Uh, TPS is still 20, so this is just me, apparently. Frame rate is not my friend right now, apparently. So anyway, I'm going to let these guys do their thing. I'm going to let them clear out this space, right? And then we're going to put uh, this miniaturization field together. Uh, and hopefully we can do this right. I've never done this before, so I don't know exactly how this is supposed to work. Uh, I think we need to do that. So let's see, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and seven, 12, 13, okay. We just need to make this 13 by 13, and then we can put our miniaturization field on here. Let me go ahead and flatten this out. I'll come right back to you. Okay, platform created. Now we need to figure out how to set up these uh, these miniaturization fields, right? So, or the, yeah, these miniaturization, miniaturization field projectors. So what we've got here is we've got the center of the room, right? And this is where the this is where the, the, the this miniaturization field thing is gonna be centered on. And I wanna say you have to come out one, two, three, four, I want to say that that's not how I like that. 
Ah, okay, so it places away from you. Um, and then it also says, place four opposite each other. Uh, you can right click to get hints as to where the next one needs to go. So uh, the opposite is gonna be required to get a full field size. So we gotta place the opposite one. So that's one, two, three, that's the fourth one. So one, two, three, fourth one. And they face away from us, so that, and then right click. Oh, you're not gonna tell me this? Oh, you're stupid. You are stupid. Apparently empty hand, maybe? Oh, apparently it's just, uh, so we're missing a field projector over here. Oh, look at that, it gives you arrows and everything. How about that? Do that again? Yeah. Need one here, right? Is that? Yeah, we need one right there. Cool. And then we need we we need one opposite that. And I think that should do the trick, right? So we go here and we put a douche sure, and put it there like that. <gasps> Would you look at that? And so that gives us a one, two, three. That gives us a three by three miniaturization field. I don't know if that is big enough. It might not be big enough for what I'm trying to accomplish. Because remember, what I want to try and do is I want to put a, um, I want to put, what am I trying to say? I want to put um, um, my Thaumcraft, at least my Thaumcraft Crucible, because that's the thing that lets all the flux out into the air. Uh, I want to put that into... A compact machine that way if i ever have any problems with it all i gotta do is control is destroy the compact machine build another one right right so let me play with the different sizes on this real quick i'm going to break these and replace them and see how it goes if i move this back one that should give me a five by five and even if i don't need five by five it will still build the smaller ones if i'm not mistaken so let me take a look at that real quick and i will come right back to you momentarily okay so we need a couple of blocks of iron and we need a couple of pieces of redstone right and i want to say we also need what else do we need um i don't think we need anything else i think this is all we're going to need for just for right about now now we also are going to need um a fair number we're going to make one of these right one of these is good for a seven by seven by seven room on the inside so we're also going to need a block of gold so let's grab that um Let's go downstairs and I'll show you what I've come up with. I, I, I've got it set up so that it's in that original configuration. I was playing around with it and I couldn't come up, I couldn't find the one that does the five by five by five area. So um, it, it is what it is. This is what we're gonna go with. Um, now to make the, the, in order to make one of these compact machines, you have to have these compact machine walls, right? And so one piece of iron and one piece of redstone will give you 16 of those. And so if I do that plus that, does this work? Recipe for compact machine wall, okay. How do you tell it to go? How you tell it to work? How you tell it to make? Um, right click now yeah, to, 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 to place uh, four opposite each other, create a miniaturization field, right click to get hints. Oh, I think, click it with this be for compact machine wall uh oh hey look we got stuff we need compact machines tunnels compact machines compact machines are the core mechanic so we need jei you can either you can enter a compact machine by right clicking with a personal shrinking device okay that's what i have um uh huh how do you how do you oh miniaturization crafting okay so once placed correctly to start emitting a uh, build a recipe inside the field to start as a crafting process. Okay. Um, do I have to power these? Do these need power? I'm guessing maybe they need power. I have power that I can give them. I do have some power that I could give them, possibly. Um, let's go like this. Look at this, that other one. And let's just go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and break this. Put you down like that. 
you have no power because you're linked to eight and I need you to not be linked to eight. We need, now do I have to power all of them? That's the other question. Huh. Let's go see if we can power this or link this up to our solar array because we have lots of power up here. Well, not lots, but a fair bit. We have a fair bit of power up here that we can use. So let's go ahead and do this and link this back to this. I had it linked to something different just for trial and error purposes. It's not working out so hot for us. Um, but I don't remember if this thing needs power or not, which is how do I make this do its thing? Uh, oh, wait, do you throw? Yeah, that's what you do. You throw redstone at it. Ha ha. That's right. So I need to go get some more redstone. But there are 16 compact machine walls. And then if you take those 16 compact machine walls, right? And take, well, you take 26 of them. Oh, okay. So you need an ender pearl. Ah, okay. I gotcha. So we need to build a three by three by three um, block pattern, but this gold block needs to go in the center. So let's go get a, another piece of redstone and let's get... Uh, we actually need two more pieces of redstone. So let's get two pieces of redstone and an ender pearl. So one, two, and an ender pearl. Oh, thank you. Got the ender pearl right. Yeah, I did. So this is going to be awesome because what we can do is we can make this so that we never have to worry about ever again uh, these uh, these flux blobs or whatever in the world they're called. Um, there it goes. Sweet. Because it'll be trapped in a compact machine. And if it's no good, then I can just uh, I can just make him I can just make him die. So now we have a lot of these. So one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six. The gold block goes here. I don't think this needs power. Eh. Um, this is the first time I've ever used these, so bear with me. This. And you like that? Yeah. And if I throw an ender pearl at you, look at that. It's going to make a compact machine. It's going to make a compact room for us. And it is shrinking, shrinking, shrinking. So what this is going to do is in, the, in, in one block space, I will have an alternate, di uh, an alternate dimension that will allow us, using our personal shrinking device, to enter that block space. And inside there'll be a room, 7x7x7, seven by seven by seven, and I can use that for all of my Thaumcraft type stuff. So give me just a minute. I'm, I think it's nighttime. I'm going to make it daytime. I'm also going to go gather up my uh, my crucible uh, and also probably get a water supply and get some other stuff around. And I will meet you back upstairs where we will uh, where we will find a place to put this compact machine. We might come up with something pretty cool for it too. I don't know. Give me a second. We'll be right back. Alrighty. I think we're ready. Uh, let's go upstairs. I think I want to put... Well, do I want to put that on this floor? It kind of makes sense to put it on this floor, but it also kind of doesn't. Maybe right here. Hold on. So how, how wide is this? This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is nine. So if I put it, say, right here, that's four, that's four. So if I go right here, that would be okay, wouldn't it? And I put you, say, right there. I think that might work. I think that might be desirable. Yeah, I think that might be desirable. So what we're going to do now is, let's see, what do all do I have? I'm going to need some wood. Let's get some wood. I think I'm going to need, let's grab, mm, grab a half a stack, right? Uh, I think that's going to be enough. I don't think we're going to need any stone in there. I think, I think we're okay. I think we're okay. So now if we take this and we go like so, <gasps> what happens? We are inside of that cube. It's a seven by seven by seven block space, and it's a dimension all of its own, and that is going to be amazing. So let's get ourselves a crafting bench. We're gonna need that. Uh, where is, where'd those planks go? You, over here in this corner, I'm gonna have you go there. I am going to need a couple of slabs, right? Slabs? Yeah, slabs will be fine. And I want to do one, two, three, like so. And I want to take you, and I want to put you right there. And then I'm going to take you, Mr. I'll put you right there. And I'll go like 
this work. might that might work. I'm not sure yet. I also made a tank, so I've got some water. Uh, we're going to put the tank there. It can sit on top of the crafting table, and that'll be fine. Let's go ahead and get a bucket. Uh, do I have a bucket? Not work in here? Oh, I have to shift click apparently. Okay. Um, that's fine. Fine. I need a bucket. Where in the world is my a bucket? I know I put it in here somewhere. There they are. There's my buckets. So get a bucket and give me some wah wah. And does that work? It does. That's cool. It's very cool. Um, the only thing I'm a little concerned about with this is, is that if there is no place for the flux to go. So if the flux gets out of control, then it would be very easy for this space to become corrupt. Um, and, and when I say corrupt, I don't necessarily mean that it's, you know, like unplayable. It, there'll, be a, there'll be one of those flux monsters in here or whatever the thing is called. And, uh, and that, could be, that could be an issue. Um, you know what else we could do? We could do something like this, maybe. Yeah, that would probably be better. Let's do that. Let's get another, get some more planks. Slabs, kind of like this, maybe? Nope, not like that. Not what I want. Like this. Yeah, that works. That works. You know, we could also do is we could make this out of great wood. Or, ooh, maybe, ooh, I got a better idea. Uh, grave key? Slabs. Aw. Key slabs. Cool. And then to get out of this compact machine, we just do this, and that takes us back out to the overworld, right? But uh, let's get some, what is it, silver wood? Silver wood? Uh-oh. Game? Okay. Game's going. Hey, come back here. All right. There we go. Um, ooh. Uh, yeah, silver wood. Can we do silver wood? Do silver wood? Silverwood, uh, Silverwood, um, slabs a thing. They are. Ooh, yeah. And also, you know what? Let's also, let's also get a couple of pieces of great, whoops, come here. Get a couple of pieces of great wood. Kind of make this look, kind of make this look a little bit, a little bit cool. Let's go back inside. And, hey, hi there. Um, let's go ahead and make, Go ahead and make this part out of these and this out of this. Oh, we're gonna need an another set of those, right? Yeah. Okay, so that gives us 12. You, no, not you. You, like so. You, actually, hold on. That back, this back. Give me, give me those, pl uh, give me those great wood planks because those great wood planks can go here. That will save the great wood slabs to do this. Yeah. Oh, one more. Better. So now we kind of walk up. It's kind of like an altar space, right? We can walk up and we can throw whatever we want to throw in there in there and, and have it do its thing, right? Um, and then we can also come over here, so, this, yes, so, and this, maybe, and we'll do all of them, all of them, sure, we'll do it. Do we want to do this? Will this look kind of cool? I, hey, that's not a bad texture. That's, oh, that's nice. This is kind of nice. I'm digging this, yeah. Hey, that didn't work out so well. Kind of digging that. You digging that? I'm digging that. Um, let me do a little bit of work inside here to kind of decorate this place up. I'll come back to you in just a minute. We'll wrap up the episode and uh, we'll see what we come up with. And maybe we'll even do some. Uh, maybe we'll even do some uh, some alchemy. Right. Right. All right. So I've been gathering up some stuff. Uh, I want to do. A, I want to put a little bit of lighting in there. Right. Uh, and what better way to do lighting than with uh, uh, some niter? Um, so let's go in here and I'll show you what I've come up with. I put down some arcane stone and I think that that looks pretty good. So you've got the, the silver wood slabs going around the room. You've got the great wood planks and great wood slabs over here to 
kind of give you get you up to this level and then we've got the arcane stone here to kind of finish out the build and maybe maybe what i'll do is kind of bring this back around to the center so it kind of goes all the way around the room maybe i haven't quite decided yet we'll see uh but right here also right here in the center of the room i think this is the center right here i want to put in a uh, i want to put in some light and so to do that we need to make some niter and so niter is just these um, actually, you know what? Hold on a second. Let's do this real quick. Let's get out of here. And let's go upstairs and we'll get our vomiter just outfit on, right? Uh, we got too much stuff and not any place to put it. So let's get rid of... Wow. Wow. I've got too much stuff. Let's get rid of some stuff that we don't need right now. So let's go ahead and put you away, put you away, put the... Put that away, put that away, put those away. Uh, that will allow us to take off all of this, right? You can go there. Nope, can't, can't shift click that. So you can go there. You can go there and you can go there. pick up all of this stuff. That's cool. Now we'll at least look the part, right? So we'll come back down here, go back into the compact machine, and we'll start throwing some of this stuff in here, and we should be able to make a light to hang up above. So one, two, three, four, five, yeah. One, two, five, yeah. One, two, five, eight, ten, and boom. Yeah, buddy got ourselves some yellow niter. Now, is there anything kind of hanging out in this room? We got a lot of extra stuff and I really need to figure out a way to get rid of that. Um, I think if I just let it be, I think it will kind of just go away, but uh, we'll, we'll just have to wait and see. So let's get, get you. I don't want this all the way up on top of the room. So this is the center right here, yeah. So if I put you here, yeah, that does the trick. So now we'll get uh, get all those tools back that we put away that we said we didn't need because, well, we didn't, but we did. Get our AOT or IOT or however you pronounce that silly thing. Get that out. Get that stuff down. And uh, and I think, I think we've got something here. I think that this is going to look amazing. What do you guys think? You guys will have to let me know down in the comments because, sadly, we are out of time. Folks, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe. The likes and subscriptions help out oh so immensely when it comes to those pesky YouTube search results. The other thing that helps out a lot is comments. So make sure you leave your comments right down here in the comment section below and we'll chat about it. Leave your tips, your tricks, your pointers, your attaboys, your what in the world were you thinking, all of that good stuff, and we will chat about it in kind. Also, don't forget to stop by our Discord server where we talk about all things Minecraft, all things life, you know, whatever you want to talk about, we'll talk about. Uh, I also want to thank my YouTube sponsors and my Patreon supporters. You guys make this channel continue to, uh, to move and to shake and to be all the things that we want it to be. And I can't thank you enough for all of the support that you all give. If you want to see your name on this list, uh, then go ahead and head on over to the links that are down in the description below. And you can either make one-time donations or you can join as a Patreon supporter. Or if you want to be a YouTube sponsor, all you got to do is click on the big green button that shows up in the YouTube chat at gaming.youtube.com slash RB uh, slash RB plays. But anyway, folks, once again, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, we will catch you on the flip side. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.